In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to triple edit on controller. It was really hard for me to understand how to do it at first, but once I understood these quick few tips, it was really easy for me to be consistent with my triple edits. With that being said, let's get into the video. Now, when you're doing this triple edit, if you double edit these and a cone is placing, that means that you place the cone last. And if you did the cone first, then the floor, then that means that your floor is going to be here instead. So it's going to be the same problem no matter what you do first. This is just one of the ways I thought about counting this problem and it ended up not working but just know that you have to get used to letting go and then pressing again so the next thing I want to talk about when you're doing triple edits is to make sure that when you do the double edit just select the first tile and don't do two it's a lot easier when you're doing the one tile and not the double because it requires less crosshair movement which will then give you more time to place this wall and edit it and trust me when I say you're gonna need it at the start when you're trying to do triple edits because it's way harder on console to place the wall here because if you know Notice whenever I do this edit here, it leaves my cone out. And if I just press the button again, it will go away. But instead, a lot of times what happens, a lot of reasons why people screw up this edit a lot is because that when they're here, they press this too soon and they edit the cone too fast. When meanwhile, all they had to do was be patient and click this button first and then do this. So when you're rushing it, a lot of times what will happen is that they'll be in this position right here and they'll be screwed. So just to counter that, try not to get frustrated. I know it's hard, but just really focus on the button you need to press make sure that when you do the double edit like this you double edit and if you notice I let go of my RT right here and I completely let go because I had to if I didn't let go this is what's gonna happen so I'm gonna be in this position and I'm gonna confirm this edit and notice how I'm still holding it if I confirm the edit nothing is placing so I have to let go and then place my wall again and then edit like this. So the next thing I wanna talk about is something that a lot of people have problems with. I get this literally on almost every single video in the comment section at least like five times at the very minimum. So what I'm talking about is that sometimes people will say they edit the first tile and then instead of editing the cone here, it edits the floor again and it screws them up. The way they get around that and fix this problem is you could do a couple things. Number one, take your edits slower because you're probably mashing the button like this and if you do it too fast you might accidentally look up and snag the floor instead if you constantly have this problem just really make sure that you keep your cursor in the right spot this is something that a lot of people struggle with for some reason when you're editing this i kind of stay right below this first tile like i'm kind of look, look where i'm confirming right here you know what i'm saying i'm not over here getting close to this tile because if i confirm and then edit again i'm gonna snag it like that this is just something that's really really small but it could be a huge problem for some people and they can't get over it so just make sure that as you're double editing that you kind of just keep it in the same spot like this Okay, I was honestly practicing this next tip for a little bit. This is really hard to explain and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try my best. So what I'm talking about right here is that as you're trying to triple edit, the most important thing is to kind of attack it from an angle. It will obviously lead you to have more time on the ramp. Like I said earlier, I already mentioned this, but what I'm saying is that if I'm here, right, I confirm, I'm going on an angle like I taught you guys, and I'm coming here and I place this wall here, right? Now, instead of coming at it like this, right? What I'm doing is trying to confirm this edit in a different way. I'm using the controller movement to my advantage. So what this entails is when I'm coming here, I edit this. And then as I edit this, I'm going even further, but walking straight at the same time. So it will give me more, even more time to confirm because of controller movement. This is a lot harder to do on keyboard and mouse. And I even mentioned that in my old triple edit video where I was on keyboard and mouse. I told you guys that controller movement can be used to your advantage heavily. So this is a perfect example of that. As I'm coming up, instead of going on an angle like this, which I am, I'm going on an angle. And then I'm extending that angle even more by looking this direction to snag this bottom tile and then walking and bringing it straight up. So I'm, I'm coming like this and I'm going like this and then I confirm like that. This is something that will drastically help controller players get used to triple editing, I promise you. So I come here and I drag my whole body with the edit. Now, if you notice, I'm not having too much right stick movement and I'm not like dragging and being clunky with my edits. I'm very smooth with it like this and I'm using my body to help me confirm the edit. Now, when I do this, I come here, it's the, the same motion like that, but really slow. And then as you get fast with it, you just kind of get used to that feeling 
and then that will help you become a drastically better editor i promise you that is something that controller players utilize all the time watch any controller player who is cracked especially someone like unknown army or epic whale they're so damn good at it i promise you these edits right here will literally make you freaking crack i promise you if you try these and get used to practicing in this map for like 20 minutes you can practice editing coming out of edits and shooting people and just editing normally and will help you get really cracked at triple edits as well they're already set up for you to edit just constantly do this if you're struggling to triple edit i promise you it will help a lot the motion it looks like is this right here you could do it like this but like i said then it forces you to look up again so if you just keep this motion right here you'll edit way faster and will help you in the long run now it really doesn't matter it's not, i hope i hope to god there's not someone in the comments actually saying bro it doesn't matter which way you edit if you go down or you go i will literally be so triggered when you're starting out it will be easier for you this is what the whole video is about how to get better at triple editing when you're starting out so like i said if you can't even do these then you need to work on your double edits and get used to that so just double edit these and then you know what i'm saying you could switch it up like this use that controller movement right there you see i'm using the controller movement right here this will help you get used to the editing process, I promise you. And you use that controller movement to your advantage and help to get those edits off quicker. Now, another thing you could do while you're doing these, so say I come up this way, then I'm attacking on a diagonal like I was talking about. And then you come here and you use that controller movement and like that, that will help you a lot as well. Those are just some of the ways of going about how to do the triple edits on this activity. Your vertical sense is something that is really, really important. You need to make sure you have the right vertical sense. Everyone is different. Everyone has different response times, reactive times all that stuff you know what i'm talking about so it's really hard for me to give you a scent that will really really help you especially because we all have different multipliers so just a way of testing it you guys should be able to double edit like this oh my god that scared the shit out of me what was that oh my god so you guys should be able to triple edit like this so if you notice how i'm kind of doing my builds Notice how I'm going side to side as well. It will help you with your triple edits and it will make you really good if you have a good sensitivity for your vertical and your horizontal. That your vertical sense can only go up so much as well as only go down so much. So your horizontal can go in a circle forever and ever and ever and ever. With that being said, me personally, the way I think about it, this is my opinion that I believe to be correct. But me personally, when I do vertical stuff like this, I want my vertical sensitivity to be a little higher than my horizontal because my horizontal even though i'm on linear my horizontal thing can go in a circle forever i'll have way more time to control it rather than the vertical where it's like i need it to be quick and i need it to be responsive because especially when i'm doing flick shots if i go slow like this it's going to be really hard for me to do a quick flick shot this sense is still kind of slow to be honest with you but i really think that this is a good sense for building and it has a good balance between building shooting and editing so in case you guys really really want to know i play on a microsoft xbox elite series 2 controller and this is my sense right here i recommend if you don't have the same controller then you don't have the same sense as me so the next thing i want to bring up is to really drill into your head that you need to let go of this button right here because if you don't you're gonna get stuck on this edit tile cone thing it's gonna be so triggering i promise you so just make sure that you let go and then press it again and then edit and if you notice i kind of do this quick dragging motion like this and i rapidly bring my my edit button all the way up really high or my cursor I should say it gives you more time on the ramp like I was saying earlier this is just another example see how I did it right here I tried to place the wall but I end up editing the pyramid because I rushed it in this case I gotta say okay Kenny you went too fast time to go slower and get used to the edit speed that way I'll be able to get better at it the more I do this just really make sure you understand your keybinds and you have them memorized if you don't have your keybinds memorized it's gonna be almost impossible to do triple edits the one thing to note that I didn't mention yet I mentioned in my last triple edit tutorial but if you just come here and for some reason if you think that you have to edit this floor then place the wall and then edit like that that's completely wrong make sure when you do this you double edit both then you have time to place this swipe down or swipe up and then continue like that if you have any further questions regarding this matter or anything else feel free to come through on my discord or join me in my twitch chat i answer a lot of people's questions in both all my links to all my socials will be in the description down below feel free to drop me a follow on any one of them it would be greatly appreciated don't forget that 94 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel so i would appreciate it a whole lot if you guys can hit the sub button 
and the like button for the one time we have a lot more tutorials like this coming soon if you guys want to know any other tutorials or tips and tricks about fortnite let me know down in the comment section i heart and favorite almost every single comment so until then i'll talk to you guys in the next video i hope you all have a good night and a wonderful rest of your day deuces peace